Some of you have asked questions around the app that we use for scrolling. So I'd like to show you Teleprompter Premium. This is an app that I quite like because it's reliable and it just simply works. It works on iPads as well as Android devices. However, the Android device version works slightly differently, but the concept is the same. I'm using an iPad Pro 12.9 here on the Prompted Flex, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. And then I'll show you the remote controller. Open up Teleprompter Premium. First thing I want you to do is go to the settings here. There's a little blue button, go to the settings. And you want to make sure that the allow Bluetooth control is selected to on. Sometimes when you open the app the first time, it's not on. So you want to select it to enabled. That way your remote controller, which is going to be my iPhone in this case, can control the text. Select done. Then you can import your text using the little plus button at the top, import document. I don't like typing directly on an iPad, I find it fiddly. I like to use a keyboard, so I'll do my scripts on a laptop, I'll save them to Dropbox and import them straight into here. All the usual suspects are available, such as Google Drive, iCloud, etc. But I use Dropbox in my case. So import your script. I've got quite a few here already. Uh, I'll use this script as a demonstration. As you can see here, it's already mirrored. But I want you to be aware that there's a little cogwheel down at the bottom here. If you select the cogwheel, you can change that mirroring setup. Because when you put it onto the teleprompter, it might not be the right way round. In this case, as a demonstration, it's not. So if it's like this, just select a cogwheel and change the orientation of the mirroring. Still not right, and change it that way. That's correct. Mirror horizontally is the correct way. Oh, just one thing I forgot to tell you. A little bit of advice. When you're using your tablet, I find it very useful to stop the rotation. Because you might be doing this sort of thing as you are putting the tablet onto the teleprompter. And as it rotates, it starts squiggling around with the text and changing the orientation. So just lock it and then put it on. Just a little tip. So now my text is ready on the prompted flex. It's oriented the right way, mirrored the right way, and I'm ready to start. Let's have a look at the remote controller. I'm going to use my phone as a remote controller. But before we load up the script, you want to make sure that your phone doesn't ring when you're in the middle of your first take, because inevitably that take is going to be the one that's your best one. So what you want to do before you load up the script, go and put it on do not disturb. Then you won't have any problems with phone calls during the production. I think that in some cases you've got to buy a case of beer or something like that if your phone rings in the middle of a production. But anyway, just not a good look. So we've put it on do not disturb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Teleprompter Premium and it will load up all the scripts here. Now the scripts that are on there are the same ones that are on there because they are now synchronized. They are working off the same account. Then I want to connect the remote controller with the screen here, my iPad. To do that, I will press the little, there's a little icon in the top there, which is a little Wi-Fi icon. Select that and it will come up with a multitude of different options. Now the one that you want and one we're going to demonstrate today is called device to device. It's down at the bottom of the list there. Device to device. It will ask you if you want to connect, just select continue and it will connect. And because we selected, you remember I told you to put the Bluetooth connection and allow it on there. Now that we've done that, it can connect from here to here. No problem, it will see Reki's iPad. I just select Reki's iPad and there it is. The text is already there and scrolling and connected. Very fast, very efficient. If I select the start button, it'll start scrolling. I can go faster by increasing the speed there. I can go slower. I can reverse the direction if I want. And I can pause. Thank you everyone and remember, spread the word.